Last week, the national president of the Comancheros, Alan Meehan, was subject to an outstanding warrant due to alleged violation of the serious crime prevention orders. Meehan had been absconding from Sydney and faced potential arrest if he did not hand himself in. On Thursday morning, the 9th of February 2023, following a raid on the Gold Coast, Meehan, 35, was arrested for allegedly breaching the serious crime prevention order. The bikey president was taken to the Southport Police Station to face court while detectives from the New South Wales Police also arrived to apply for his extradition back to Sydney. Body cam footage released by Queensland Police shows the dramatic moment when bikey boss Alan Meehan is arrested by officers at a Benoa Waters home. Are you under arrest? Are you under arrest warrant? Uh, from New South Wales. In the arrest footage, Meehan is escorted into the back of a police van. He appears to be calm and is seen following police instructions as he leaves the property. Police allege that Meehan had contravened his crime prevention orders by not providing the full address of his temporary accommodation, not providing an intended return date to his primary residence, and possessing or using a communication device with encrypted message capabilities. Detectives also executed two simultaneous search warrants at properties in Greystains and Haymarket. A number of items were seized which will undergo further forensic examination. In the court his lawyers told the magistrate that Meehan had moved to Queensland for his and his family's safety, concerned about a $3 million hit on his head. He had spoken to New South Wales police and told there was a hit on his head. Meehan had also paid 12 months worth of rent up front, and had his child registered at a Gold Coast school. In July 2022, police officers served Meehan with a notice, intending that they will be applying to get the serious crime prevention orders against him in the Supreme Court. The service of the notice was video recorded and provided to media for publishing. It showed two police officers entering his gated property and handing the notice to Mian who was dressed in grey gown. He discussed the notice with them and lit a cigarette in front of them. Following this the police commissioner applied for the orders against the Como president in the Supreme Court. The grounds included that Mian is a member of the Comanchero Motorcycle Club, who are known to participate in criminal activities including drug trafficking and criminal acts of violence, plus he has been convicted of possessing an unauthorized pistol, and there is a good chance that Mian would be involved in serious crime-related activities, despite his limited criminal history. The application also mentioned that the Comanchero bikies consider themselves to be beyond the law, they pursue offenses involving violence, firearms, drugs and violently defend their club patches and colors. Police submissions to the court also said that Comanchero bikies have complex hierarchies governed by written and unwritten rules and they don't hesitate in performing violent acts. Comanchero bikies act to protect and enhance their organizations by using serious violence, at times against their leaving members which includes penalties, fines, extortion and property theft. The application went largely unchallenged by Mian and his lawyers, and despite the hearing being set down for two days, the Comanchero national president did not contest the order being made. Mian's legal team did not call any evidence on behalf of their client to dispute the evidence or the opinions of the police officers that were presented before the judge, therefore the orders were issued. Under the terms of the order, Mian must live at a nominated address in the Southern Highlands, and has to notify police at least 24 hours in advance if he intends on staying the night somewhere else. He is also restricted to having just one bank account, credit card and debit card, must not hold more than $10,000 in cash or use an encrypted mobile phone, and must provide police with details of all private vehicles he owns. If he ever uses a taxi or Uber, he is required to provide police with the number plate and his destination within 24 hours of taking the trip. Mian was also banned from associating with 34 people including fellow bikies. It also subjected his phones, computers, and any other device, plus his bank accounts, to serious scrutiny. Furthermore, Mian is also prohibited from using an alias, changing his address without notice, and restricts his use of phones, emails, and online accounts. The court also issued a ban on Mian wearing any club colors or outlaw motorcycle gang-related clothing or jewelry and insignia outside his home. He was also banned from posting pictures on social media of him wearing such attire. It was one of the strictest orders to be placed on a person, and obviously hard to comply with and was seen as vital step taken by the authorities to uproot Comancheros completely from Sydney. 
In the court magistrate Joan White said that the main concern was that Meehan did not notify the appropriate authorities of his new address plus there was an unacceptable risk that he would not appear at his next court appearance if granted bail. Meehan is being extradited to New South Wales and is due to appear in the Downing Centre local court on Friday. Queensland police also issued Meehan a reciprocal order containing the same restrictions he is subject to in New South Wales. According to the legislation, breaching the conditions of a serious crime prevention order can lead to a maximum penalty of up to five years imprisonment and a statutory fine to be decided by the judge.